Hi, I'm Jared, a Belkasoft Digital Forensic Specialist. This is the Belkasoft video series, Belka Talk on DFIR. Here we answer questions that you can send us via email or directly in the comments to these videos. Today we have the question, what artifacts can be analyzed from a Windows machine? There is no quick answer for this question as there are thousands of Windows artifacts that can be analyzed. The answer to this question is based upon what type of investigation that you are performing. Are you tracking down an intrusion? Are you looking for evidence of intellectual property theft? What about the inappropriate use of company assets? What artifacts you analyze is actually dependent upon what type of investigation you are performing. As an example, let's jump into Belkasoft X and I will show you what type of Windows artifact you can expect to see while investigating an instant response investigation. So now that we've loaded up the latest release of Belkasoft X, uh, we are on the main screen of the product. So I've already loaded in a couple data sources, so I'm going to go over to Dashboard. We've got some, some mem dumps. Uh, we've got a E01. All of these links down here are hyperlinked. Um, so selecting one of these things will take me directly to this. Uh, so for instance, if I want to know uh, some system event logs because I am looking into an instant uh, response investigation, I can click on system event logs and I'm directly taken to that artifact. Now, I am in the overview tab that is going to combine all of my data sources together. Um, so any artifact from all of my data sources combined. So I'm looking at system event logs, but I'm looking at system event logs for all of these data sets. If I want to look at system event logs for this, this data set individually, I will hit the drop down arrow and scroll down until I find exactly what it is that I'm looking for. So for instance, I want to look at system files, uh, I, I can do that from here. Now, because this is an instant uh, investigation, uh, I am going to utilize Belkasoft X instant investigations. Uh, in selecting this, you can see that it was pulled out for me uh, potential methods of persistence. So we're talking about services. We're talking about applications that are set to run at startup. Uh, and then, you know, things like recently downloaded files, recently opened documents, link files, um, prefetch files, and so on. Things that are set to run at a specific time. Now, let's say that I want to go in and see how something uh, malicious got onto the box. So the first thing that I probably will do is go to one of the mem dumps that I acquired. So let's go to uh, this mem dump and okay so we have this W, uh, dwm.exe looks like we've got uh, some browser artifacts that were pulled out of memory okay and we were actually able to recover a malicious URL uh, again this is just for demonstration purposes uh, but you can see how you'd be able to track uh, a malicious uh, link or download or, or something of that nature in a uh, instant investigation right clicking on this particular um, artifact will allow me to bookmark it. Uh, it'll allow me to uh, open the, the copy of the item text, paste it, create a report for this item, uh, and, and so on. So looking through the overview tab, dropping down our system files, all sorts of things that could be very useful for instant investigations such as mounted devices, what USB connections uh, did this device have, uh, how about network settings, what about your TCP IP configurations. Uh, so many useful artifacts that can be found within the Belkasoft X product. Uh, so again it is dependent on what type of investigation you are doing um, on what artifacts you are going to analyze. Understand that there are out of the box, over 1,500 different types of artifacts supported uh, specifically for uh, this type of investigation. Thank you for tuning in to Belka Talk on DFIR. If you like these videos and you want to see more of them, ding the little bell, subscribe to our channel. Uh, and again, if you have any questions uh, that you want answered, 
drop them in the comments below.